Brian with Prater here today and today we're going to show you how to properly install and remove the screens in our Mega Mill which this model here is the MM5. So first when you come up to the machine obviously make sure that everything is locked out and tagged out for safety purposes so that we don't get any of our limbs or anything caught or if the machine might turn on while we're trying to do what we're trying to do as far as inside the machine. So with the screens, as far as installation and removal, we're gonna go over removing them first and then installing them properly. On our Mega Bills, you have handles up here that are spring-loaded that we're simply gonna push down. And when we push down, if you see in here, we have our jaws and the jaws come down to allow us to remove the screens. Once we have released the tension on the jaws and it's free here, there's a center jaw here in the middle that's bolted down and we're simply just going to sit, put it in here and re loosen this. Once this center becomes loose, then we're able to slide our screens out. And now we're ready to either install new screens if they had gotten damaged or worn. And now we're ready to go ahead and install our new screens. So if these were a new set of screens, we're going to start off on one side. You have a slot here and the top jaw and a slot here down at the bottom jaw. We're going to slide these screens in. The important factor of installing screens is that we make sure that they're fully seated to the back along the wall and there's no gap because if they're not installed properly and they're not fully to the back that will allow material to get through that shouldn't get through because it's got to pass through the screen after it's been ground by the hammers. Once we have that one in there we're simply going to release the tension up here so that's going to lock it in at the top on the jaw we're going to go to the second one same thing we're going to get it started in that jaw the top start it at the bottom we're going to install it and you might have to put some pressure on here to kind of keep it until you get it locked up here by the top jaw and now that we have them installed properly to the back and we know we're fully against the wall also another check is to make sure that the screen itself is still has the radius of the body because that's another point where if it's not fully engaged or following that radius that material can slide through and get through that not being ground the way that you want to and you can end up finding that your material as a finished product is going to be a little bit coarser so that could be a check and balance if you're finding that you're having coarse material that shouldn't be getting in there you might have to stop the operation open up the door and check to make sure that the screens are installed properly once we know that our screens are fully engaged, locked down at the top, the last checkpoint would be locking down the center jaw. Get it down and lock it down till it's fully locked. And there's how we install and remove our screens.